So as y'all can see by the title, I'm going to be giving y'all five back to school natural hair styles. So before we get into this video, y'all, I want to give a shout out to Graphics by Brax. Now that person made me an intro and I was shocked because like, I don't know. But thank you for making me the intro, but I will not be accepting it because number one, it has copyrighted music and number two, I already have an intro. But thank you again for making me the intro. I will have your link in the description. So make sure y'all click the link and follow her on her socials and thank you again. So before we get into this video, make sure y'all follow me on my socials as well and let's get into this video. <laughs> start so i'm gonna do like i know y'all let me tell you this i know i have white stuff in my hair so i don't need nobody to be telling me that i got white stuff in my hair it's from the gel that i use like i say in all of my other hair videos so don't worry about it but we finna start so i screenshotted five hairstyles that i'm gonna be doing that i did before but y'all probably never seen y'all probably did i don't know but we finna do it so since my hair is already like this um i'm gonna do a top knot so that's gonna be the first thing i do so i'm basically about to comb all of this out and i'm gonna be back bro if only y'all could see how much white stuff this is in my hair it's like so bad this is the gel that i'm gonna be using now it does work but this is what it does to my hair like once i take it out which i don't like but so you will also need some rubber bands i'm gonna start using scrunchies because rubber bands kind of take my hair out a little so we're gonna start using scrunchies so but for this video i'm gonna be using rubber bands since i already have it here so this is what we're gonna be using like i said some rubber bands and a comb you will need a comb don't be laughing at the stuff falling out my head if y'all have some good gel suggestions to use for my hair please comment it down below because i cannot keep dealing with this then the gel have the nerve to say it doesn't flake but it obviously it does but i mean it's the only gel that works for my hair and keeps my hair slick and all of that so let me just stop talking and get into this video so i'm gonna take a lot of gel and we finna apply it now the only times that i do top knots is when my hair is stretched and my hair only stretches when i have it in a style and once i take it out and i comb it out like you just seen me do then it just stretches out so that's the only time i do a top knot i don't never wash my hair and then just do a top knot because my hair will be wet so it'll be more like a top knot ball like a little ball or whatever so i'm gonna have to get up a little for this one and i'm gonna need some water so let me just take this out now y'all that's why i got muscles because i be pulling my hair this stuff aggravating all right so this part right here is where you need your rubber band or your scrunchie whatever you use so i like to double tie it actually triple tie it if you cannot pull all of your hair up you can use a shoestring so don't be in the comment section talking about you can't do that because yes you can because when i cut my hair off and i did like a any chop i was still able to do this hairstyle but like i said your hair gotta kind of be stretched to do this so yeah All right, now sometimes I, I apply two just so it could be kind of like really, really sleek, but we don't need to. Now that we have that, I don't have my pick. I don't know where my pick at, but we're going to use this and you just like fluff it out. This video would be so much better if I didn't have white stuff in my head. Like it would be so much better. Let me back up some so y'all can barely see it. Take a rubber band or you can use a scrunchie, but I'd rather rubber band for this part. You take it and you just place it like in the middle like that so it could form like a shape. And you could take another one if you don't like the shape, but I like the shape that I got. Now we're gonna do the edges. I'm gonna show y'all how to do the edges. I do my edges with the uh, gel steel and I use this right here. So that's what I'm gonna be using. And All I do is like take 
my edges out or if you don't have edges or whatever you can use like take the real hair or whatever and make it look like it's edges i mean people do it all the time All right, so that's that, and now we're finna do this again. I know my edges don't really look that good, y'all. I did not use a mirror, obviously. So, yeah. That's how I do my top knots for all y'all who keep asking me, how do you do your top knot? It don't really look slick like that, but oh well. That's how I do it. So, this is hairstyle number one. All right, so now we're about to move on to hairstyle number two. So now you take the comb and we gonna part our hair like on the side. I'm doing a, cause I did not tell y'all what hair style I'm doing. It's gonna be like a braid on this side, a braid on this side. And like, it's gonna be pulled back to like a puff or a bun or whatever y'all wanna do. And now we're gonna make like a little part going like this and a part going down like this. All right, so y'all cannot see. So you just pull like the back of it, put a scrunchie on it so it can stay and hold. <sighs> All right, so I haven't braided my hair in like so long. So let's see if I still got it, cause I probably do. I like to start from the beginning, like literally all the way from the start where the line at, and then I'ma just braid it, so. All right, so yes, I still got it. Now I did kind of mess up right here, but who cares? I mean, who cares? So I'm gonna take this side and I'm gonna do the same for this side. So we got the braid. Now sometimes when like a braid has like a little circle sticking out, I'll just tuck it in. Let's see how uneven. Oh, it's not uneven. It's kind of uneven. I have like this comb with like a needle, little long iron looking thing at the end. And I usually take the iron part and tuck in. Like I'll take the gel, do that, and tuck it in. But I don't have it on me right now. So we're gonna be using this little edge brush thingy. All right, so now we're gonna take the back out. <clears throat> and I guess we're gonna comb that out then, you know. But yeah, so you could comb it out and you could like pull it to the side. You could pull it in the middle, pull it to that side, don't matter, whatever side you wanna pull it to. You can make it out of a ball or bun, it don't matter. But I'm gonna do like a side part so y'all can see it for show. So you grab your hair, pull it to the side. Y'all did not comb this out all the way, so that's why it barely looked like I got hair in the back. I'm tired, baby. So you take the little braid, pull it with it, or I don't think this gonna reach. It probably will, but that's too much grabbing, so you could bobby pin that up or do what you wanna do. back y'all i'm about to go get a bobby pin okay so we got it pinned up to the back and we have this little piece hair right here you can make a ball out of it you don't have to you can it's on you and now we're gonna do the edges because they looking kind of ratchet right now so
right so this is it this is the second hairstyle did my thing i like this i like this i'm gonna have to wear this again i ain't wearing it today though i'm gonna wear it sometime around school but yeah this is cute so i'm gonna have to wear this again it's cute so this is hairstyle number two so hopefully y'all liking these hairstyles even though this is my second hairstyle but y'all it took me 14 minutes to do this so i'm gonna be back i'm about to take this out and i'm about to do the third hairstyle so so y'all yeah, took out the little front part but we would need to create like a middle part so i'm gonna do like two braids like this and then a half up and a half down y'all can see what i'm talking about but yeah so we're gonna create the braid on this side and on this side so Okay, so we got the two braids. This cute, this so cute. So we're gonna take this out in the back and we're gonna create like another little piece like this, but it's not gonna be a, a part at all. All right, so we got it and we just pulled the rest to the back. So we got it and we're gonna put the scrunchie at the top. So this is what we're creating, like a little pony. And then now we let the rest out, okay? And we need to take these two and we pin it to the back, okay? So that's what we do. Let's pin this and you pin the other one too. We're gonna spray some water, I guess. I didn't wanna wet my hair cause the next hair, who that's cold? But I didn't wanna wet my hair cause the next hairstyle, I'm gonna need my hair to be puffy y'all look that's too cold so we just gonna take some gel i don't know if i want to do this because this is where the flakes come from So now we got a curly curly and of course we got to do our edges but y'all probably tired of seeing me do my edges all right y'all so i'm done with this one i know my edges kind of look a little crooked or whatever but it's all good so this is the third one, I think. Yeah, this is the third one, I believe. If it's not, I'll correct myself. But So this is the third one, and this is what it looks like. So this is really cute, cute, cute. So now we're going to take this down, and we're going to get to the fourth one and the fifth one, and then we'll be done. Okay. All right, so we took it down, and now we're about to create a middle part so this finna be i don't know because this finna be the hairstyle that i'm about to keep or the last one will be the one that i keep the parts be so hard for me to make So we take the rubber band and we tie this side up so we can work on the other side. I'm about to show y'all my middle part. I wonder if I did good. I probably didn't. We take the gel. So I got a piercing and I'm trying to not 
get the stuff in it. So this part, I take my hard bristle brush and make sure my fingers are clean because I got to lift my ear up for this one. So we got our long little piggy tail. This make me look like a child, but it's so cute. I like having my hair like this. We're gonna do what we did on this side to the other side. So we got our two little piggy piggy pigs. Now we finna like slick it. We finna do that edges. <laughs> All right, so this is the fourth hairstyle. And I know I got gel on my forehead and I'm about to show y'all the fifth one right now. So basically it's like ball, like a ball instead. So take this and wrap it and then, ooh, that hurt, that hurt, okay. And you create like a ball and you do the same for the other side. And I said, I'm gonna do blue on this side, so. I'm gonna take this out because I don't like, I'm not wearing my hair like this. I want it, I might keep it like this, but do the same for the other side. Create a little piggy ball. I keep saying piggy, but it's really a ball. But yeah, so this is the last one right here. This right here. So but yeah, because it's like space buns or whatever. But this is the last one, y'all. So, but yeah, so y'all, that completes the end of this video, y'all. If y'all enjoyed this video, y'all already know what to do. Make sure y'all follow me on all of my socials. If you follow me, comment down below so I can follow you back. And I will see y'all in the next video.